So we have the... Uh, can you hear me okay out there? Let me know if you can hear me. I'm not sure how this connection's going. Alright, we we're can. we live, we can hear it. Um, so with recent tragedy last week with Mike Hall, over the weekend I didn't really do much on social media. First time I've had a real break from social media. Number of years, but uh, definitely inspired to uh, to get something good out of this. And yes, they did a 200k ride with Tori. Um, and I was just thinking during the ride, like just just felt you know at the start of the ride felt a bit cash, and then uh, as the ride progressed, I thought I could just keep fucking riding all night. And I felt that I need to share this cycling thing with more people. Um, so this this. Uh, my festival's coming up. It's a free festival. I put on a free event every year in Thailand, and there's no money to attend. It's a bit like Tour de Divide. And uh, so June 1st to July 14th is Duran Riders Vegan Cycling Festival in Thailand, and I'm going to change the format up a bit a little bit this year. I said I would focus on more adventure, and so what we're going to do is we're going to do every second week, we're going to do a 600 to 1000 K week of riding in you know, a tour, bikepacking style. But we'll do a little bit, a bit more of an introduction to bikepacking. We won't camp out all the time. We'll just do a little hotel, hotel tours of Northern Thailand. But we'll start and finish in Chiang Mai and just do big loops. So the first, uh, the second week we're there, we'll do the Mei Hong Song Loop, which is one of the most uh, scenic roads in the world I'd like to think of. And in the third week, we'll do another Northern Thailand, Doi An Kung, Stuff like that, and in the the last week of the festival, we'll do maybe go down to uh, Utea or over towards Lao. I'm not too sure yet on that last one, but uh, we'll work it out and let you, you guys know how to organise and stuff like that. But it's been basically like a you know, take your bikes along, we ride, get K's done. It's not it's not a race. If you want to go full gas, you're welcome to go full gas. There's no prize for going full gas. There's no prize for finishing dead last. The only prize is in the moment, enjoying it. But uh, it'd be more of just an introduction to get people into bike packing, bike touring, you know, training, climbing, etc. Uh, I think by having a more of an adventure focused mindset at the festival this year, we'll, we'll have less of the uh, the Instagram drama queens, um, the look at me crew, etc. So I look forward to doing that. And so that's if you're not in the Facebook group yet, we have close to 900 people on the Facebook group. And it is True Riders Vegan Cycling Festival, and it's a free event. I'm not doing it to uh, to fill for cash my pockets up. Um, not that people who do vegan festivals to line their pockets are necessarily a bad thing, but uh, there's no there's no um, taxis at Doisa Tep. It's a live stream. There's no taxis at Doisa Tep. I mean, if you catch a taxi to the Q and A, then I expect to see on some crutches that you have some, have a medical use. You need it. You need to use a TUE to catch a taxi at the event for sure. TUEs or you're not coming up the, the Q&A. Um, but anyway, so that's that's the festival for this year. As you see, my, my um, internet skills are pretty poor. I haven't even, don't even know how to do a banner, a YouTube banner. I haven't updated it for last year, so hopefully I'll maybe get on PicMonkey and do a new banner today or sometime. Um, get that done. But uh, that's Dune Riders Vegan Cycling Festival, June 1st to July 14th. And so if you want to come to Chiang Mai, that's a good time to be there. So but every third week, we'll, every second week, we'll be doing a bike tour. Toys is rolling in now. And we'll do the Mei Hong Song loop in that second week. So get some Ks on. So those people who want to lose a bit of weight, <laughs> then come along down. And we'll show you some of the fucking steepest roads on earth. We'll do the Doi, uh, Doi Inter Nan or do the Doi Ang Kang. It's just going to be climbs from hell that take you to heaven. And beautiful scenic outlooks, we'll be drones in the air, it'll just be a lot of fun. Camaraderie, and ride by yourself, ride with the pack, sit on, be at the front, whatever's. You know, you, we'll have a uh, course already mapped out for you. All you have to do is just uh, download it to your phone or your GPS device. And I'd recommend an app called Maps.me. Uh, Jesse Carlson got me onto that one. And uh, Maps.me. Someone said the future of Indie Pack. I've talked to Jesse. I haven't really mentioned, we haven't really talked about that at all. It's just a brief conversation on Facebook Messenger. 
Um, it's still early days, you know. I mean, I hope, I don't know, a lot of people out there hope that the indie pack continues. Maybe we can have some sort of Mike Hall challenge in there. Or, I don't know. I don't know. It's early days. Um, those guys do what they want. Uh, in my opinion, I think it would be cool if we carried it on because I know a lot of this, this race G'd up a lot of people, man, myself included. Um, they G'd up a lot of people. This indie pack, it, it just basically, it was crazy. The dot watching thing coming to Australia, it, it, Jesse did a great job, man. He, he really got this uh, a great event. And social media, boom, you know, we blew it all up. And it was just great. It's just unfortunate with, uh, with Mike. Um, but again, every, in every tragedy, there is inspiration. No matter how hardcore it can be, it's, uh, at the time, eventually the, the inspiration and the magic comes out of that. So we're gonna not we're not gonna let this uh, be of of nothing. You know, it's, we're gonna continue and keep smashing it out, keep pumping out the K's. And yesterday, you know, I, I was right. I started right. I, I just cars buzzing past me, and no one came close to me. <laughs> but they're lucky for them. It would be another today tonight thing. But uh, I just I just felt fucking cars. There's too many cars in society. There's just there's too many people. Just it's too hectic. You know, we gotta. We got to do something about, um, but uh, ride your bikes, man. Just ride your bikes. You know, get vasectomies, ride bikes, go vegan. So yeah. But if you want to join the Facebook group, someone's asked during Runners Vegan Cycling Festival on Facebook. It's a group, and you need to be moder it's moderated, so uh, you get approval on there. We've got about nine hundred people, eight hundred people on there. It's free. So uh, and another thing as well is, um, you know. I like to wear high vis stuff these days, so run bright lights. You know, the best light I know for the rear that I've owned is the Bontrager Flare R. There's a lot of my other good lights out there as well. What's your favourite light down below? But run bright lights, you know. The Bontrager Flare R is a great light, not sponsored. Um, it is just so fucking bright and you can charge it off the wall, etc. Um, but the, the, the Vegan Cycling Festival is going to be going to be another great year. This year will be the best ever because we actually have it'll be more cycling. I mean, last year was a lot of cycling, but this year it's cycling, cycling. We don't have the, the drama crew, the you know the Bonnies or the Asinas or the Annie Jeffries or just the, ah, 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 look at me, look at me, look at me. Those sort of people. Where it's like it's just going to be like cycling, man. Just get out there, and enjoy it. You know, show the show the locals how to do it. Um, inspire the tires even more with cycling. Fibrous front light gains. Um, someone recommend the Garmin Barrier really light. Cherry Bomb. The Cherry Bomb is a good. The Cherry Bomb is a good light. The Cherry Bomb. Um, someone said bonk so hard on a ride today. Can't get up from couch. Eating chips. Don't eat fat, man. Eat carbohydrate. Smash the carbs and you might. If you like fatty stuff, but have carbs, man, because the reason why you want crap. The reason why you want so much fatty stuff is because your, your body's like, well, if you're not going to get carbs, go get some fats. Yeah, so smash the carbs in first, man. Bash, bash, smash the uh, carbs in first. So, yeah, Dune Riders Vegan. Ali just said the bike packing festival is great. Dune Riders Vegan bike packing festival. Cycling festival. Just to let you know that both you and yourself and Mike Hall inspired me getting into cycling. All the best, Harley, and thanks for the advice. Great, man. A lot of people didn't know who Mike Hall was before they watched my videos, but, uh, you know, Mike Hall, the bike packing thing, he sort of exploded it up. He was sort of the most, most consistent guy. He's been a bit on social media. And a quite a, in my opinion, my experience, a quite approachable guy. Uh, you see, he watched some of my YouTube videos, and he was pretty down to earth. And um, no matter how fucked he was, he was, he was down to talk on camera. So he, he understood the power of social media there, which is really cool, because if you want to get something out there, even if you don't want to talk to the camera, I mean, I'd never want to talk to a camera, but I do, because I understand the power of it, you know. I understand the power of talking to cameras, get your message out there, even though I don't want to do it. But I do do it, because I want to, I understand that's what it takes to do it. It's like, I don't like, I don't want to fix flat tyres ever again, but I fix flat tyres, because I understand that you can't ride a bike without air in the tyres. I don't want to talk to cameras, but you can't get a message out there unless you talk to cameras, you know? So you just have to do it. You just have to do it. Um, well, I mean, I'd love that the world was just all vegan, riding bikes, no, you know, no worries. But, uh, you know. What do you think about 
and IV out the long rides. You drink it, need enough, man. You don't need IVs. You don't need IVs, man. Solid tyres ride like shit. Someone said solid tyres. Solid tyres ride like shit. Um, you know, this, uh, this festival's going to be really good. You know, I can just see the, all sort of, the sort of people that it's going to deter. I can see the people it's going to attract. You know, this is, this is for people who aren't afraid of getting dirty, you know. Getting out, getting amongst it, man. Getting amongst it, you know. Adam says, your videos turn me on to cycling, watching Inspired to Ride, Indie Pack, Mike Hall. You've been a huge positive influence in my life. Thanks, mate. Cheers, Adam. That's, that's, that's my goal, man, is to be a positive influence in people's lives. Love me or hate me, my goal is to be a positive influence in people's lives. You know? And even people who, who say they hate my guts, you look at their lifestyle. They're vegan or they're riding a bike or they've got a vasectomy or they're on YouTube or they're selling an e-book with my recipes in or whatever and, and that's great, you know, because they've insp been inspired and that's my goal. My goal isn't to make friends, you know, so I don't care who I offend, my goal is to inspire. Inspire, man. And you can inspire people. Don't, people don't have to like you for you to inspire them. There's plenty of proof of that. Just look at my example, man. Um, What do you think of the meter for Micah's road safety campaign idea? I think it's great. I think that's great. But I don't think, you know, um, I don't think that, it's, it's, this, it's the car culture, man. The cars are getting more and more on the roads. You know, Australia has one of the highest cars per capita in the world. So it's not, it's more about getting people out of cars than awareness. I mean, awareness is very important. Just as wearing high-vis stuff or, Lights at night, high powered lights at night, stuff like that. But, you know, we have to treat the cause, and that's just more and more cars. I mean, China just registered 23 million cars last year in 2016, so it's, it's more population. I mean, even in the last 20 years, um, you know, in the last 20 years in Adelaide, there's just so much more traffic. I remember just riding, when I first started riding, there was just hardly any cars down south and up north and around, and now it's just like heaps more traffic. You know, um, I hope. Um, I hope that Indie Pack is on next year. Someone just asked me. Give give a thumbs up if you want to see Indie Pack on next year. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see Indie Pack next year. Um, you know, Lads and John O'Groats, UK, do it, do it, do it. My experience riding in the USA is very positive because people in the US are scared of getting sued. Australians aren't scared of getting sued, man, because most Aussies have got no money. We don't have a, a you know, lit litigation sort of society like US has you know US people are scared to, to hit you but in Australia man, they're, when they're really not they're fucking it's crazy um, you know so that's it stay 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 I mean I've got to go to the police station today to report that bike crash because the guy's not coming through with money so I've got to you now chase that up and it's just you know yeah anyway and Americans have guns. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. I mean, if I was in the US and I, I lived in an open carry state, I'd be carrying. I'd be. Car I'd be open carrying, man. There's no fucking doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. How's the injuries? My injuries are pretty good. Um, getting better, and you know, week by week, did a 206k ride yesterday with Tori. Pretty casual. Bit pretty casual. Pretty easy. You know, I feel. I feel pretty good today. Knees still a little bit sore, but nothing. You know, nothing too bad. I can have recovery today. We might do a bit of bike packing this week. But, uh, yeah. And I'd recommend, you know, you can run a mirror on your bike. There's a lot of mirror, good mirrors out there. Um, where are we staying in Chiang Mai? Who you fly with? I'll probably fly with, um, don't know, don't know who I'm going to fly with. Don't know where I'm going to stay. Just going to turn up. <laughs> don't t Just going to turn up. There's, there's over, there's over, 1,200 accommodation options in Chiang Mai, literally over 1,200, so stay wherever you want to stay. We'll do, we'll take this live stream in 20 minutes, and then I'm going to jump into another live stream on my main channel. And uh, any main tips for a first time bike, I'll do some videos about that. Just whatever bike you use, just whatever bike you use, it'll be fine for Thailand. What kind of, what kind of steely is that? That is a Rosin Prestige. Tori's coming to the festival, yep. We're gonna to go to Thailand early this year, do a bit of 
touring around. Best prices for flights to Thailand's um, flying out of Adelaide is uh, I don't even know how much it costs. Depends what you want. If you want to go on the Tuesday from Adelaide, then I'm not sure how long it's going to cost, but it depends. Um, I've got questions, questions. Doom on everything soon. 32 on the back, compact on the front. I, I'd recommend a 40 on the back if you're doing everything. But hey, you go and do the everything and tell me what you tell me what you did. I've done everything with 32 and 42. I prefer the 42, but depends. You know, depends. Um, depends what 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 sort of you know, climb you're doing, how steep it is, etc. Any experiences of salsa cradle? What is a salsa cradle? I don't know what that is. Salsa cradle? What is that? It's a salsa cradle. Um, have a look. Salsa. Oh yeah, it's a bike packing bag. Yeah, bike packing bags. Um, I'll do another video about that. But the Ortlieb saddle bag looks pretty good. Bike bag dude stuff does some good shit, but in terms of, I would say for Thailand, the minimum you'd need is just a bike packing bag on the back, just a saddle bag. And so I'd recommend, I mean, they all, they all work, but the one that was great value was the Blackburn, Blackburn Outpost saddle bag seat pack. And another one that was good, more expensive, double the price, is the Ortlieb uh, bike packing saddlebags, a big 16 litre one, or Lieb or the Blackburn, for, in terms of your saddlebags. For your frame bags, <laughs> I like bike bag, bike bag dude, get down, he gives me some stuff, not sponsor, he just gave me some stuff, he likes my shit, but it is good shit, um, so that's good stuff, you know, relevant designs, do some good stuff, if you, if you want boutique, then go bike bag dude. Frame bags are optional, you don't need a frame bag, but what you do need is a saddle bag, and I'd recommend the, the Blackburn or the Ortlieb. Um, if you do want the frame bags though, then bike bag dudes are hard to beat. And these little top tube bags are really cool as well. Just They just feel really nice in the hand. <laughs> um, alloy wheel set for performance, well, then just depends how much you weigh, bro. I mean, you could be a 50 kilo person asking me that question, or you could be a 120 kilo person asking me that question. So a, fi a wheel set for a 50 kilo person isn't gonna be the same wheel set for a 120 kilo person. So they both may be from alloy, both for performance, but it depends, you know, it depends. Um, it depends. Um, it depends. Questions, bike questions, give me some bike questions and then we'll wrap it up. I'm gonna do a, uh, what's my BMI? I don't know, I haven't weighed myself. I don't have any scales that actually work accurately. I haven't weighed myself for quite a long time, maybe a year or so. Opinion on tire widths, depends, it depends what you wanna do, but in my opinion, 28 mil Conti GP4000S is the best tire in the market. Yeah. It's the best tire in the market, GP4000S. Someone, some person made their own frame bags. Fucking awesome, man. Fantastic. Sewing machine, easy first try. There's, there's no reason why you can't make your own bike packing bags. No reason why you can't make your own. Um, am I going to do the Strava base mold challenge again? Nah. I'm just going to do indie pack or just those sort of things, touring. Road link versus goat link. Uh, the road link is for road derailers. The goat link is for mountain bike derailers. All right? So make sure if you're going to use a road derailer, you're going to get a road link. Otherwise, it's not really going to work. Uh, come to the US and tour. I've already toured the US. Seattle to LA. BB30A. Cannondale. Uh, I've already done the tour, a bike pack in the US back in 2006. How do you leave back and neck pain? Depends, and it could just be noob pain, it could be you need a bike fit. I don't know, I, I don't know how you look on the bike, you know, I don't know how, how many k's you've been doing, maybe you've got some injuries, maybe it's how you sit when you're on the computer. I don't know, it's hard to say, bro, but there's many variables there. Saddle bag or saddle roll bag. Um, 
saddle bag or saddle roll bag. What's the, I don't know what that. What is What does that mean? I don't know what does that mean. First cross continent ride, Trans Am or Indy Pack. I'd recommend just go and just go and whatever wherever you live, ride across that country. You know that should be transcontinental. <laughs> Do that. Do that. I'll, I'll, I would make sure that if you're going to do any pack, that you can actually, yeah, you know, just just to make your life a little bit easier, especially if you're going to spend that much money to come over Australia, is is do some touring so you're confident that you get no challenges doing that distance. You know, no worries at all. Like I've ridden across Australia, but there's like there's no challenge for me to ride across Australia anymore. I mean, I love riding across Australia, it's good fun, but it's not like, it's not like, can I do it? I, I've done it, man, I know I can do it. In terms of being up the front of any pack doing 400 k's a day, then that's the challenge, isn't it? That's the challenge. That's the challenge. But if you want to, if you want to go hard, then you need a super light bike. Lighter the better. So, if any packs on next year, then I'll be on my TCR, or a super light bike, similar to that. My TCR's got a crack in the seat tube, but giant Australia says it's okay, so. I'll keep riding it. Ride right until it fails. Bike questions, hit me up. Yeah, ride right across the US, do that. I've tried hammocks. I don't recommend the hammock. It takes too much time. All you need is a windscreen shade as your insulation mat, super light. Put your bivy on that. Boom, you're done. It's very, very fast. Very fast. Very fast. When should you replace carbon bars if you haven't wrecked? I wouldn't recommend using carbon bars. <laughs> I'd probably replace them now. Again, it depends how heavy you are. Are you a spinner? You're one of those guys who just like grinded everywhere and shit like that. I don't know. It depends on your riding style. Depends on your riding style. Depends on your riding style. So it's neat, depends question. It's like how often should you, you know, replace your computer? Like, it depends, you know. Um, the thermal, sole thermal bivy, sole. This little lightweight survive outdoors longer. They new, have a new product out now called the Soul Escape Pro. I've just ordered two of those from the US because you can't get them in Australia. So I've ordered two of those. I'll do a review soon. Um, what's what is your opinion of frame materials? Carbon, aluminium, steel depends what you want to do with it. Yeah, alloy, carbon, steel. What do you want to do with it? It depends. 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 Pre-made electric bike versus kit. I mean, I, I can't think of a better bike than a hybrid bike with disc, hydro discs and a Baffang 750 watt or 1000 watt motor. That way, if the, the, the kit fucks up, you can replace that. I've got a specialized turbo bike and that fucked up. And now I've got this like, you know, six and a half thousand dollar bike that doesn't want to go anywhere in my backyard because it got hit by a car. So it's, I would recommend the kit bikes for sure. Best bike packing tent. I would just recommend a bivy bag. Difference between a, a bib, what's the difference between a bivy bag and a sleeping bag? The difference is, good question, the difference is a bivy bag will keep you dry, a sleeping bag will keep you warm. Uh, so if it's raining, you need a bivy bag. Because if you're raining, if it's raining, you're sleeping in a sleeping bag, the water's going to get in your sleeping bag and you're going to be like carrying this like 10 kilo wet sack of water bag around you. Stage is still the best power meter, in my opinion it is. I can't think of better product than stages. Again, not sponsored. They're light, they're cheap, they're stiff, they work. They work. Do your touring shorts? Oh, yeah. SRM, expensive as fuck, batteries fuck up, you gotta send them overseas. It's just a joke, in my opinion. Uh, I figured no solution. I mean, you can use super skinny rims. You can use super skinny rims that might work, but not with the lightweights or the envies. Do a couple more questions. I don't know where I get going. <laughs> Should I invest in titanium tent stakes? I've got titanium tent stakes. They're so small, I've lost them somewhere in, in, in the mess. But uh, I, I don't even use... I, I use bivy bag. You know, I use bivy bag. I've used egg beaters before. I had the Crank Brothers 4 TI. And they were shocking. They, they unthreaded in the first long ride. They were shit. They were shit. They wore into the shoes. They were just shocking. Shocking. For me. Do I notice a power increase when wearing a backpack? How, how would wearing a backpack increase your power? How would 
put in a backpack. Um, and with touring bikes, you don't need a touring bike to go touring. I mean, I've ridden across Australia on, a, on my racing bike, my Cannondale Racer. So you, I, I've ridden from Adelaide to Byron on a mountain bike. You don't need a special touring bike. You know, depends on what you want, how much you want to carry. Which stages for SM, FSA, Omega BB30? Contact your local stages dealer. I can help you with that question. I can help you with that question. A couple more questions and wrap this bad boy up. Have I owned a BMX? Yes, I had a yellow Indy 500 back in the day, 1986. 105. 105 what? Best average cadence? I'd recommend at least 80. 80 average cadence is going to give you minimal knee issues. You know? Power to tap, power to max, power meters, too heavy, overpriced, stages, stages. What do people prefer Ultegra over 105? I've ridden both and both fucking works. Both works. I couldn't, if I had to close my eyes, I couldn't tell which is Tura Ace 105 or Ultegra if it's tuned properly. I can't tell the difference. DI2, I can tell, but you know, I can't tell the difference. Best way to pace yourself for a ride, get a power meter and keep right about 150 watts. Ride at 150 watts and you'll be fine. 95 cadence, too high? No, it's not too high. Not too high. But yeah. All right, two more questions. My best Norton Summit time is 12.57. Ontegra chain slips out of the 40 tooth, then your adjustment isn't correct. Maybe your hanger's a little bit bent. You know? The cork power meter, I haven't used it yet. I've got one in my room here. Best dynamo light combo, I would say, depends on your budget. What's your budget? You know, I can give you like the, the top 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 dog stuff, but it depends on what your budget is. Depends on what your budget is. Um, so yeah. Did I watch Flanders? Yes I did. I did watch Flanders. I'm gonna do a video about that today, so stay tuned. Thanks for all your questions again. And uh, we'll wrap it up, but I'll be smashing out videos again. Keep riding, ride for Mike. Every day can be your last, man, so don't, don't hang on too long to the past and uh, hang on people who are legit. Do it.